take that as a no. Why miss? Nope, definitely can't hit it. So let's just counterattack while normal damage thing. It does return a little bit of damage to him, but we still get the shit slapped out of us. So let's attack him. Pass the ball. Pass the ball, Barkley! Bam! 118 damage. What about you? 41. Good enough. That actually really hurts. A lot. We probably need to heal. And we don't have enough BP to use that. So we're, we're kind of on the edge of dying. So we'll just use the Echo Core on myself at 255, 275 health back. Puts us back in the fighting condition. It can't really out damage us using Echo Core, which is easy, which is good. I go back to using this again because, I don't know, I, I kind of like using both. Although Pass does so much more damage. It just, it just seems, and it, all, it also just seems so much more useful. But anyway, let's use a Pass. Let him taste my bowels. And we'll just hit him with the Fire Absorber or whatever, I don't know. Maybe set a scan, you know, never mind, Fire Absorber, go for it. Brace oneself. Eh, that's never good when a boss turns all glowy and red and shit. It doesn't help that we miss, either. So what you gonna do? Juke Spinner! And he does no damage to, to me, but... Or, not to me, but Barkley, but... That's quite a bit to ultimate hell baby, or Balthios. We know he's Balthios now. But when he's not juked up on that red shit, he doesn't do shit for damage, so... Go figure. Anyway, one more hit should do it, and not quite. Please don't kill us, B-Ball Monster. Don't kill us, Lake Monster. Eh, whatever. We'll just hit him. Hit him, damn it. Why am I not hitting him? Just go for it. And there we go. That is the end of him. 628 experience. 247 Neo Shackles and Charles Barkley is fighter level 3 and Balthios is fighter 2 level 3 and he learned Windsor, which is nice. Never used it, but we, we did it. We managed to beat the B-Ball monster. For a minute there, I didn't think we'd make it. Are you kidding me, Balthios? With the way you use those arbors, it's no wonder they call you the ultimate hellbane. Heh, I could be better. Hey, what's this? It, it looks like a basketball. This, this looks like my great-grandfather's basketball. It was in here just a few seconds ago, Barkley. It must be his final farewell to you. His treasured his b-ball. He treasured his b-ball more than anything. Charles, you'd better... Blah, blah, blah. I will, Balthius. I will. Gained one b-ball. He said we should look for a cyber dwarf. What's that? More like, who's that, Barkley? He's an old friend of my great-grandfather's and somebody who could help us out greatly. Come on, we'd better get moving, or Jordan, the bastard, will catch us. Yeah, you're right. These are the sewers, Barkley. It's a dangerous place, so we'd better be careful. Noted. Let's go. There's no reason to go back, Barkley. We'd better go find the... Yeah, I don't like the fact that you can't go back, and there were many areas that we didn't explore, so I think it's in our best interest if I just rewind right now and then meet you guys right back here. So, let's go back this way. Let's explore a little bit. This guy's back. Shouldn't be too hard to kill. It's just some song ballers. What, what problems can these pathetic little fucks bring? Quite a bit if I do shitty, but you know, go bigger. Anyway, we'll just have to attack him, take him down real quick. Shouldn't be any, any real issue. Slash, slash, and then one final slash. And do we hit it? We hit it. But like I said, I don't, I don't understand why. Like, the Zolper slash and dash or like one's so much better than the other and I don't understand it maybe later on it'll be useful for whatever reason but I don't know what reason it could possibly be but the ultimate hellbane Balthios does seem pretty shitty he seemed pretty cool at first but anyway gain some spire to level 3 we weren't that far from level 3 so that guy's experience that he gave us was, I, I feel, kind of wasted. Anyway, so what do we got going on down here? Just an item in the wall. Sneak up on him, get the bonus, 
shouldn't be too much of an issue. So we'll just... Wind Zabra launches enemies, shower status effects. Might as well use that. We've not used that yet. So let's just pee on them with our... With our Zabra. It's, it's fucking so weird. I swear to God, that name is weird. And I feel like I've heard it before, too. But anyway, let's take out the Slam Spectres. Seem pretty weak. I mean, they're, they are pretty weak, all in all. Especially compared to the Zomballers, which can take a hell of a beating. They seem to have a lot more health, but... Whatever. Now, I wasn't paying any attention to my health here. And I pretty much almost let him die, which... I don't mind. He's... I, I'm not the biggest fan of Balthios, because he, he's just crappy. Barkley is so much better. But still, kind of don't pay attention to his dwindling, dwindling health. Probably for the best, because I, I really couldn't give any shit. And in Montezuma's Revenge, what does that do? Can somebody tell me? I would be very, very grateful if somebody knew what the fuck it does and where the name Montezuma comes from, because I feel like I know it. But I also feel like I don't know it, so yeah, I definitely don't remember where that's from at all. So anyway, Ball Brain, beat him up. Don't really feel like letting the pass do it because, and it's so much e it's easier to do that if you just need a little bit of damage because it doesn't have like the high chance to miss. So we've got two chicken dudes. Even though pass doesn't often miss, it's Still less often than the other one. What do we got here? This contraption intrigues me. I've yet to find out what its purpose is. Looks like one of those spinning globes. Only a b-ball instead. I wonder if it's still... Huh? Did you see that? Hmm. That appears it is some kind of ancient device. Turning the b-ball seems to shift the tiles below. I don't got time for shifting tiles, pal. May lead to valuable treasure. Treasure? Like the forbidden dump text? Nothing is certain, but if we manage to solve this conundrum, we will reveal ancient baller possessions. And you move the cursor, and then you shift the cursor tile, and then... I've done plenty of these in the past, but never one this small. And as weird as it sounds, it seems like the smaller these are, and this being the smallest, you can have one, by the way. You can't have a 2x2. Two two. I don't think you can have a 3x2 either, but... I could be wrong, don't count me on that. This is actually surprisingly tough. And as, as much of a nerd as it's going to point me out to be, I actually have done a lot of these in the past, and you might ask, why did you have to do so many in the past? And RuneScape, RuneScape makes you do a shit ton of these. And as bad as the game looks, I did enjoy playing that with the family. Cause I, I played it with my, I played it with the family when I was younger. And we, I mean, we all played, we all had accounts, and we had to do these a lot. Like, there was a shit ton of these, and they were all bigger than this. And when, like I said, the bigger these are, the, the easier they are to a degree because it's easier to move the the the, 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 the tiles but when it's this small and then you don't know where you have to go it's really confusing so I'm actually gonna cut out solving this which you know isn't going to be that big of a deal I don't think you guys want to watch me solve this thing because it will actually take me a minute or two but it's not gonna be that difficult and I do I did figure out that the one in the top left corner is the one you have to keep but as you can see here as it slowly, slowly loads in and it's black for me. I do manage to get it done. There we go. Got one Gatorade gum. I guess it's black for you guys too. Well, anyway, wow, I thought this gum was only a myth. Um, alright, I've had enough of this room. I concur, we need to go further on. And there's nothing else in this room. And what does that item do? Gatorade gum. Turns rock solid upon air exposure and in permanent increase of VP by 25. Diet VP, mind you, is vitality points which is nice it permanently increases health and that'll be good but I don't want to use it now I'm a stickler for hoarding items probably for longer than I would really need to um, I probably will never use it I'll probably forget it's in my inventory or eventually sell it because I'm retarded but anyway well let's go down here what do we got there there's another one of those little golden ball thing but first we've got to fight the Slam Spectre and the Ball Brain. Now, my question is, does that Ball Brain have a penis? Or is that a Gatorade bottle? I feel like it's a Gatorade bottle because he uses a skill called um, Contaminated Gatorade. And I'm really hoping that it is Gatorade. That skill fucking blows. 
So let's just pass this guy. Still, his health is really low. Luckily that missed, but it does remind me that his health is fucking really low. Gonna have to heal him eventually. But should be fine. Taste my balls, ball brain. And there we go. Pretty simple. Got some more Neo Shekels. Neo Shekels, I think is how you say it. Is this another statue of the ultimate Blee Ball? Yes, Sparkly. The ring around it symbolizes the ring of friendship formed when Michael Jordan helped their Looney Tunes defeat the monsters in the Space Jam. The power of the ultimate B ball is revered by ballers, but also feared. They recognize the unlimited potential of a ball containing the abilities of the best ballers. I'm slow as fuck, aren't I? Ever. But also knew if the ball got into the wrong hands, the damage could be irreparable. Don't give me a history lesson. I was at the Space Jam. I was part of the ball. I know firsthand the immeasurable power that ball contained. Don't patronize me. You're correct, but you don't you don't need a history lesson. Etc. Etc. Moving on. Watch your step, Barkley. The footing isn't so stable. O o okay. And nothing comes of that. I feel like if I ran on that, it would have failed. But I ain't gonna test that shit. What is this pool? This pool commemorates the lives of all the ballers who are never seen again after the great b-ball purge. Men like Shaquille O'Neal, Ron Artest, and even the great Hakeem Olajuwon. Although they were never found, all their fates are almost certain. All of this. This is my fault. This is my fault because of the chaos dunk. If I were never born, those great men would have never had to... Barkley. Get a hold of yourself. You can't keep blaming yourself for something that was entirely out of your control. The guilt I've been living with. The chaos dunk. Hell bane my greatness that the one thing I love most is what not only ruined it, but ended the lives of so many great... Great ballers. It's like fate chose me in the greatest area of great greatest era of man to herald the cyber apocalypse. When basketball died, so did the camaraderie it birthed. When basketball died, so too did the goodwill and hope that it fostered. The great B ball purge wasn't the death of basketball, it was the death of mankind. Something you said struck me, Barkley. What? You said that fate chose you. Yes. Maybe you're right, Barkley. Maybe fate did choose you to destroy B-Ball. Maybe fate chose you to win the greatest game that mankind has ever been given. I think I don't think so. I think that fate chose you to for something far greater. I think fate chose you to redeem B-Ball. To give it a clean slate to purge, Barkley. B-Ball lost sight of the two most important parts of the game. Slams and jams. It's not being about the slams and instead the Neo Shackles. It's not being about the jams and about the endorsements. I don't think of you as a devil, Charles Barkley. I think of you as an angel. Creepy, but okay. Who? Who are you? I can't tell you now, but you will soon understand. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Don't fucking come near me, you little mother... Oh, well, well, we'll fight him. Won't be too difficult. Just a slam specter, a zomb baller, and... Slash... And pass. Now, somebody did, I, I did ask in the last video if you guys want me to cut out these fights, and you guys actually said not to, because you actually enjoy watching these fights. And I can't really blame you, I mean, these, I don't know, I've never been one to cut stuff out in, in stuff like this, so I'm going to be going off what you guys want in that, so I will be showing these fights. And from here on, now, if you guys have any other opinions on that, feel free to leave them in the comments. I remember, I do always read them. Regardless of how many I respond to, like I said, I do read all of them. Just so you guys know. Anyway, gained 140 experience and 72 Neo Shekels. And then we gotta fight the other one. But for some reason, they get a preemptive attack. Which is really random. Also, he's still really low on hell. And he is getting really, really lucky. Like, I mean really lucky. Like, I am surprised he has lived as long as he had. But still, let's take out him real quick with the showboat slam. No. We'll take out this guy with a showboat, uh, showboat slam, but not quite. He still lives with just a little bit of health, and he finally dies. Like I said, I should have been paying attention, but kind of wasn't. And that's my bad. Anyway, we'll just revive him really quick. No harm, no foul. Though he does take 